guys, I'm so excited for this video because I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY bird play gem out of PVC pipes like this. So let's get started. Play gems are super expensive, so I wanted to make an affordable one out of PVC pipes to share with you. I'm going to share the design that I drew for this bird play gem, so it's easier for you to follow if you do decide to make this for your birds. So I'll be showing you how to make the structure of the bird play gem, and then you can customize to your liking. So for the structure or for the PVC pipes, you're going to need 37 feet of PVC pipes. I chose the 3 fourths of an inch diameter and I did get four of the 10 feet pipes that they had at Home Depot. But since it was much cheaper than the two feet pipes that they had, you're also going to need a PVC cutter. You can also use a saw if you have one. For the PVC fittings or the connectors, you're going to need 12 T's, four elbows, four caps, and one coupling. So starting with the PVC pipes, it's going to be super easy. Well, you'll just need four pipes that are four feet tall and 21 pipes that are a foot tall. It's really hard to cut into the plastic so just use your body weight and the floor to help cut the pipe and please be careful and ask someone for help if you need it. Try your best to cut all of the pipes the same length because it really is important to make sure that everything is as even as possible. After you cut all the pieces you can start assembling. We're going to start building from the bottom up. I'm going to place the design that I drew on the screen somewhere so that you can follow and use that as a reference. For the bottom you're going to need four elbows, four T's, and eight one feet pipes. And you're just going to build it based on the design. You're going to connect all the pipes to form a square and the last opening in the T's should be facing upwards. After you build the bottom, you're going to need four four feet pipes that you cut, also three T's and the coupling. You're going to attach all four of the four feet pipes to the T's so that it's standing up. And then you're going to attach the T's like sew so, to three of the pipes and attach the coupling to the last four feet pipe. Next, you'll need four of the one foot pipes, a T and a cap. So we're building the shortest and what is going to be the front of the bird play gym. I and mean, you're going to use the pipes and the T to connect the three four feet pipes with the T's that are on it. And you're just going to use the cap to close off the pipe in the front. Moving on, you're just going to need the rest of the pipes and the fittings to to continue building the rest of the bird play gym, we're basically going to put together what we just did for the front of the play gym, but this will be for the back and it's a little bit extended on both sides too. So once you're done, it should look something like this and now you're ready to add the accessories. So since PVC pipes don't offer much grip for your birds, you are going to need something to wrap around the pipes. So you can use vet tape, but I wanted to go with sisal twine and rope just because I like the natural texture for my birds. But what I did was I used a sharpie to mark where the pipe and the fitting meets and then I pulled the PVC pipe from the fitting so I can drill a hole small enough for the twine to go through towards the end of the pipe which is where I'll be looping in the twine so it will stay snug when I connect the pipe and the fitting back together. But before I did that I did tie a knot at the end of the twine just for a little extra security. So after I did that I just put the pipe and the fitting back together and I started wrapping the pipe with the twine starting at the line that I drew. So you do want to do the same thing for the other end of the pipe as well. So if you do decide to drill holes into the pipes to attach any food bowls or toys, you want to make sure that you mark the food bowl holder into the pipe and drill holes before you're wrapping the twine just so it will be a lot easier. You can also drill holes into the caps to attach food bowls as well. So I was running out of twine so I switched over to sisal rope and and it gave the play gem a different texture that I ended up liking a lot. And for the rope, I just used zip ties at the end to secure them in place. After I was done wrapping the twine, I marked where I wanted to place the perches and then I drilled holes in for that. When you're drilling holes, you want to make sure that the drill bit that you are using is slightly smaller than the screw that is used in the perches, just so the perch won't be too loose when you attach it to the pipe. When you're thinking of where to place the perches, you wanna make sure it's not 
crossing under any of the pipes so that when your bird poops, it doesn't land onto any of the perches. And for hanging toys, you can buy these eye hooks and screw those into the pipes, but I didn't end up using those. I just used some extra twine that I looped around the pipe and just knotted it at the end so it forms a loop around the pipe. I also had sisal and manila rope that I used to make natural perches, I guess. So what I did was I cut three pieces of rope into all equal lengths and I just braided those together and attached it to the play gym using zip ties. You can't really shape this like you would a rope perch because I didn't include a wire in it, but it does hold loop shapes really nicely. After installing everything, this is what it looks like with all the sisal rope, the twine, all the perches, toys, and food bowls in it. I did want this to be a foraging play stand just so my birds will work a little harder to get their food just like they would in the wild. One thing that I still need to get for the play gym is something to place underneath it to catch all of the poop and the food. So I am deciding on getting those plastic placemats that you use for computer chairs so you don't make any scratches into the floor. And then I'm going to place newspaper on top of that. And if you're wondering why I placed everything towards the top of the play gym, it's because birds like to naturally perch in higher areas. So I figured they'd like that the best. So this play gym ended up being over five feet tall so I'm around 5'1", 5'2", so it is taller than I am. So if you wanted to make any changes to the design, you can absolutely do that. That's why I used a coupling for one of the four feet tall pipes, just so I can remove that in the future if I wanted to and just replace that with a T so I could extend it to both sides, which is why I like PVC play gyms because it is customizable and you can change it however you like in the future. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel for more DIY videos like this and let me know what else you'd like me to make. Also hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video and I will see you in the next one. Peace!